you still you should still spend the money on us yeah. you, you shouldn't wait for me to also bring 50 percent or 30 percent of anything you should still do you know what it means when these things happens and i i get to a stage where i've become rich and my husband is still spending on me do you think i will start disrespecting him or be looking at him no, some way no i will because, hide my money and, and, and hmm. listen listen it's crazy. Na na naturally even naturally 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 uh, this boy there's a lot of question marks on him a lot of questions naturally marks. men don't really like women to give them money Yes. We don't even like want you to no. add your anything to anything. We want to be the one to do it. But I know somebody who said that he will he will let a woman give him one peso so that at the end of the day, if something happens, the day the lady will be uh, speaking to him by heart and say that I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one. I know one guy who one time asked me for money. Okay, he asked me for money and I gave him and I reminded him on the money. Do you know what he did when he was bad? He felt bad <laughs> and he complained bad. that and do you know what he did when he was paying me back? He paid times two of it to tell me that like I don't need the money, I don't need the money from you. I just needed your help. Yeah. And like at that moment you, to help. you help yes. So I know I have to pay you and this is the money and this is a thank you to you know I felt bad. I I felt bad than him. Hmm. So you can imagine a lot of men don't really like it when a woman is spending their money on unless this man is an, an opportunist yeah he's an or, opportunist or, or a man who doesn't want to work yeah unless maybe the, the man has yeah, gone a lazy man a lazy man yeah or he has or, deals and things that he's doing he wants good. to use your money but if it's not that then maybe the man is really in a hard um situation, con situation or condition where he would need a support from you not for you to give all the money because i've heard of stories one friend of mine has has <laughs> She, she has done her worst. She has given all her money out, and today there are no more. And yeah. if if like, you talk to her, if, she will tell you that she won't put even fifty percent in yeah. ten months. But if you know how, imagine. if you know how she has turned out now, you, you know the you person like it. Around. Yeah, the lady you told me. Yeah, you will like it. You when when she's talking to you, eh, like she has bitterness in her heart. In her heart. Her. So if a man come to her and she's like, oh, you mean Jimmy? Like you know that thing? Yeah. I'm not ready for. Even though she wants to get married, she has doubts. Like, will this man come to me and do me good? Even though some men are giving her, like a man would give a man, she's still thinking, will this man come and do me good? Or, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. So you see somebody like this, if she doesn't heal, right? It will, go, it will take her a long, long time. Long way. Long time before she, she finally settles down. Yeah. Yeah. These things has effect on, on it's very people this, so this matter is very very critical it's and very i think critical. that you have to really really look into it before you take a decision on it but mm -hmm. the things we have said the no's are the very very big no's yeah all right let's go on to the almost uh, okay so we have the few ones no he said the mom knows me so so apparently in the relationship and yeah the read, read, that in, right? wait, wait, says, read all of this says, the mom knows me i got mm -hmm. the opportunity to meet i got the opportunity to meet her for the first time last july. july and we went to visit her again over the christmas we are cool and she likes me mm -hmm. that's fine her, his mother likes you and knows you that that's doesn't fine. mean she has given you the that mean go ahead or right. the green light yeah my mom also Hello. has oh, okay so she said my man also has a child mm -hmm. i think by insurance thing that mm -hmm. is why she, she, yeah, she wants okay. she's okay so you see my man also has a child wow mm -hmm. your man has a jeez and he's living with his uncle and he's living with his, with his uncle now you should ask yourself where is that child who is taking care of that, that child? child then you know that this let me not even say it. No, let's and my relationship with her which is the girl has been great so far my question is will she ever acknowledge the fact that i am her dad's wife and call me a uh, mom that's the question you're asking <laughs> if you're already thinking about this for Inshira, i didn't do anything for Inshira to like me or not like me she just like she just liked me all of a sudden Inshira, first day i saw Inshira, i think mommy didn't even introduce me to no. to, to hell no, i just said she just called me daddy, daddy. and i did my i was like <laughs> do you know one thing i think um you know when someone hasn't met you and has seen how like let's say insurer you she hasn't met you before yeah. you've not met her but you've spoken to her on the phone in which she's seen what how happy i am yeah 
where I go, yeah. how I'm reacting, and yeah. all of that. She's seeing the peace and happiness and all yeah. of that. She knows that, and I will tell her, oh, I'm going to Victor's place and come and all of that. And she will surely ask you a question, who is Victor like? Yeah, even though she's young, she's seven years old, getting to eight years old. Yes. Don't mistake in that. So they know all of that. So if a kid just cares, sometimes some kids don't come forth. Yeah. They want you to go the extra mile. And also, and also you are a woman and she's a girl. That relationship is usually some way. Good. That relationship is usually And some sometimes way. it comes from the parent of the child. It yeah. comes from the man or woman who gave birth to the child. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If the man is not um pushing her, not harshly, but like driving her towards you and all in conversation and like oh so they will go to um mommy ma so, 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 this place or all of that, the child wouldn't do it. No matter when you go to heaven and come back to earth, the child won't do it. L listen to this one, is it? I love my little girl, which is a girl, mm -hmm. so much and would want to grow the relationship I have with her to the next level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not your little girl yet, though, my dear. No. <laughs> She's, She's not your little girl yet. You see, girl yet. The, thing is that, the thing is that before you meet the person, I think that the whole point to it is it is not by your power, it's not by your mind, no. it's not by your will, no. it's not by your anything you have or no. carry that will no. make a child acknowledge you or you acknowledge the child yeah mm. if it is not god if it's not god then it won't it's, work it's, yeah you sure. try and try and try and, sure. and that, yeah. that, that, that alone can even break your marriage or relationship yeah. so this is why we would rather say focus on yourself build your relationship with god understand all the intricacies and things that and how, governs this and things. how a child would be trained to yeah how the child to be trained to is so uh -huh. and it's a long story because it's a very long story. This is really because cool. when I like when we were dating, Insha never visited. I never took Insha to his place. No, not at all. It was after one year, remember? Yeah. After one year, when we were going to get married, that was an I. She came because, to visit she came one to visit. day and left, and we left back, and then and we just spent some weekend together, and then all that was I, it was even like twice or three times but okay. you were visiting and talking to her on the phone so yeah. it was like it were growing with it but if the man is not giving you the opportunity to talk to his daughter how would you grow a relationship with her okay like, so this word is really hitting my head so much mm -hmm. she said my dad is beginning to act funny that's the girl's dad because he expects my man to call him text him from time to time but my man is quite a shy type and also does not see the reason to be doing that. The fact that your man is not seeing reason to be calling your dad, texting your dad. Oh, um, even with that con, it's not anything. No, it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory for that your, your man, your man should, call should be calling or, or anything. But, but it is wise enough to do that. It's wise enough to, keep, no, to have a relationship with their father. It's not, it's not really some form of relationship. It's not really compulsory. It's not compulsory. I, mean, I don't know. No, mean. but like, like um, you when you go there, just be open, have a conversation. Even if you live and you don't call Christ, fine. Because fathers don't really okay, have so let, much. Let, I'm let, coming, let me read this one. Fathers don't really have so much relationship with son in laws unless. The, f the father is very open to all of the but yeah. but this it seems the father wants to have that kind of relationship with the guy at home we started dating and we even got married i don't remember the last time i really called your dad yeah when like, i would speak to him was is when you are speaking to him and i only say hello to him and yeah. then that'll be it but i've not really no. texted her dad and my dad is okay dad. with it he's not, okay. yeah, he's not complaining he's he, like, not complaining like you have your life but when that there's you should something... think about someone yeah but you have your life so if me i'm going to visit my dad today and i'm going with him and you buy him something he would really appreciate but it's not compulsory for you to have a good relationship with your yeah. father-in-law let, let me read the okay. last part of the story the mm. story so that we see how we can answer that it says I explained things to him, that is, and told him he did not really grow up with his dad. Mm -hmm. So he didn't really get the vibe he has with me mm -hmm. and my sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the girl is saying that, sorry. 
the girl is saying that um, he explained to his dad, her her dad? dad that the boyfriend he didn't grow up with his dad so he doesn't have that vibe mm-hmm. and then um, uh, they are cool but my dad wants more of it mm-hmm. my man also is also reserved i haven't met his dad yet he's not really like that with him his mom and his dad are not together the dad is already married to another woman he says when it's getting when it's getting to the year we begin preparation that is when we will go and see his dad do you think something is wrong somewhere because he told me at a point last month that he did not like my man so so her father is saying that he doesn't like so it's either man. it's either the father is um saying something something and wants more of the guy because he wants the guy to prove him wrong yeah yes but if you are not proving him wrong then he will continue to say that he wants more from the guy yeah yeah and and i think also is that what i also think is that you know she will explain further the issue between the guy and his dad (laughs) but i think that for the status if the guy the guy literally has to just resolve whatever he has with his dad if he doesn't resolve it the question i'm going to ask you is that oh and i learned this during counseling that your husband is not just your husband he has only taken over from your dad that is how your dad was taking care of you your husband has only taken over to take care of you even a little more than your dad was taking care of you so my question to you is that if he doesn't have a relationship with his dad if he and his dad doesn't see eye to eye he and his dad are having issues and he has not resolved it has he been fathered has he learned how to become a husband has he learned all of those things if he hasn't then you should ask yourself question how your dad has taken care of you do you think he can take care of you like that and also i i, I would also ask the girl to ask the guy what's really between you and your dad like yes. the, what, the guy was between the guy and uh, that yes what's really between you guys you know someone wouldn't go with a father okay yeah. but through reading of books and, and learning learning yeah he would he would go and marry and be the best father of yeah. like of his kids yeah. like so well that you'd be surprised that this man who wasn't fathered yeah. has given out his best yeah. so if so then either the guy doesn't want to learn or has um um is it a stable mind on one thing he has a fixed mind a fixed mind yeah. on one thing that okay my dad is like this so if so he's at the side i'm at my side yeah. what he does not what i do i will live my life but that one too can cause a lot of trouble you get that yeah so i think the guy the guy should just go back to to his dad but if if not it's either the guy would want to learn and move on yeah so it's two options oh, okay so for me myself i didn't really grow up with my mother mm-hmm. but i took it upon myself to learn to read yeah and that is what is helping me today yeah like literally that's what's helping me today yeah but I, because there was a point i never saw her to with my mother mm-hmm. <laughs> we literally would fight almost every day but now we don't anymore because I had to learn how to study. I had to really learn how to talk to women. I had to learn how to handle myself as a man. I had to learn how to, I had to literally, by the grace and help of God, be able to be where I am today and know what I know yeah. today. And and, and that, that has been it. And it even is God. If, if, if I was to be in a girl's shoes, I would question the guy so much that um, I would want to know what really came between you and your dad that you don't want to go and see him until you are going to get married what if we go that, and he that, that's a very no. big mistake a very big i would mistake question to make. him me like this when i get into a relationship my eyes are on the ground your character the way you talk everything is something i'm looking out for so if i i notice like we are like you, you don't want to go and see your dad until we marry like it's not logic. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. What did your father do? What at all would come between a father and a child? You know, huh, another thing too I'm thinking is that she's saying that her dad is married to another woman. Mm-hmm. And the dad has children with another woman. Mm-hmm. So that means that um, the boy's dad and his mom had an affair. And they gave birth to him. Mm-hmm. That means that the dad is not married to the man, uh, to the mom of the boy so the thing is you don't know if they were married and got divorced okay 
or they weren't married and got divorced. Okay, but but, but, but what at all would me would make that happen? Because if it, it's fine, if your father hasn't taken care of you, that one I'll come out clear and tell you my father wasn't there for me, so I don't need my father. That's when I'll get to know your character from the start because from the way you talk, it's like yeah. you you because you never had a father, you you want to become the best of it. Yeah. But you still mention your father to me yeah. that if we are getting closer to the marriage, we will go there. Yeah. So it means that you and your father had a relationship. Yeah, and another thing I'm also thinking is that um she the girl has to be very careful. Yeah. <clears throat> very careful because if the guy doesn't really settle with his dad and himself, mm -hmm. he will repeat the same cycle that his dad repeated. Yes. There's no doubt. There's no fight about it. We even learned this in counseling. That there are things we have to get rid of, we have to work on, mm. so that we don't repeat those same things in, in our in yeah. our um, marriage. Because if how our, our dads treats our, our mom and treated us, that, those are the things we learn and those are the same things we bring into our relationships and marriages. Yeah. So just so that you are safe and you are, you are sound, you have your own, your your mental health is, is in check. The guy has to sort all of those things out with his dad. If not, he'll repeat the same thing. What his dad is doing. And then, oh, repeat the same thing. Maybe he, he would even do his worst because it's either he's, do he's lying or saying the yeah, truth about his dad. And then, um, one thing I wanted to talk about the mom's, the guy's mom's side where the girl said, oh, she's cool with the mother. See, there are some mothers who wouldn't tolerate her son bringing a girl home and, and introducing her. Fine, and there are some mothers who would tolerate it and accept you, but when he brings another woman, they would they will take it. They will take it <laughs> again. There's another story that but we, my mom, there's another story that we have received. We also do a video on that story. Someone yeah. like my mom, when you bring when my brother brings a girlfriend, they they fight they fight in the house before everything comes down, and my mother doesn't smile. She won't smile towards like towards the girl at all me when i was in a relationship before my mom was always hitting me this man won't take you anyway this one not him the yeah. one before him he won't take me anywhere and she gets angry anytime i say i'm going to visit him she would insult me fight with me tell me not to come back by the time i come back she would lock my door and true true so you can imagine so she wasn't tolerating but i was her, like <laughs> yes so i was forcing myself to end it true after all that where am, where I where am I? Uh, I'm okay. It's correct. Yeah. <laughs> where am I? I'm here with someone else. So like she knew it, but some mothers would tolerate everything you bring. Some mothers are like, okay, or maybe be my or the gene and or baby and maybe be or a bear my internal. So don't accept the fact that the mother if the mother really wants you to be her in-law or her daughter-in-law, she will sit you down, question you, where are you from, this and this. My son has a daughter. You know my mom did that to you? No. My mom did that um, to you, yeah, telling yeah, you that yeah. about Shira. Like, I have a daughter in law yeah. the, the boys, the guy's mom will sit you down, question you, are you ready and all of that. But if the guy didn't go and introduce you and introduce you as a friend, my sister forget about it yeah. and then and then my, my last no. point on this is that if your dad doesn't like him he doesn't like him yes don't See, kill yourself don't kill yourself he because, has a reason because he your dad has his absolute reasons if he's not doing this your dad knows why he's he's, he's saying this mm. and you can't force this to happen because at the end of the day when you are even maybe ready to marry your dad will say he won't accept the marriage oh what will you do even with this kind it's not like your dad doesn't want to accept the marriage your dad says he wants more from him so it means that he has seen something in yeah. which you the kid you're not seeing yeah L let me say this proverb they say um, opinion of being a bit that so maybe your dad has your dad has your dad is a man he's a man he's a father he's a husband so if a man has come to my house yeah so if a man has come into my house then it means that he knows what he's expecting the guy has not even met her dad because from the way the dad is speaking it's like the guy has not met him no i'm sure the guy has met him no from yeah she said like she, he visited me the first time you, you met my dad when we went to visit him there and you were like let's pray before all of that when we left my father was like me so like so you can imagine so it's not just about you sending a man to the house parents a, a good parents would scan the man from head to toe yeah. 
even though they don't know him they will scan him from the way he talks from his reaction body uh body what body language body language <laughs> <laughs> body language and all of that they will scan him even women to where we go to our in-laws they will scan us from head to toe okay so like I mean, for me if I, if I would advise you I would tell him sit him down talk to him ask him questions why yeah, does he want you just to act naive. bring 40% like, pro, probe a lot probe ask a lot. him why if he says you should bring 40% who will be driving the car to work probe a lot. if he says this then who will be providing for this like ask him questions and, me, and, and, and listen listen I also believe this strongly that don't just be in a relationship because you want to be there. See, there, there are a lot of things that you have to do. Yeah. And maybe let me share these five things with you. Then I, I we go on. I call this a close. Be with a man who has a relationship with God. Yeah. If he doesn't have a relationship with First God, I would say leave him. Mm -hmm. Be with a man who has a job, who is making ends meet at the end of the day. Yeah. A man who can cultivate you, who can who, who can build you, who can add value to you. Yeah. A man who can protect you. Mm -hmm. you do, do you get what I mean? Like there, there's a lot of things, but if this guy is not doing, you don't feel these things with him. Uh, I'm a serious Christian, and I believe in serious stuff. And you must be serious about something to want to build something together. And if he doesn't add something, it's not about sex or anything. No, it's about it's about the value that he has that he's going to give you yeah and the value that you also have that you're going to give him so if he doesn't have these things Charlie, you have to rethink and to rethink. lastly don't worry i have a lot to say in which like how our wedding was planned how who how i was before we got married yeah and all of we'll, that we'll, do a video we'll that, surely all talk, of about that. It. We'll talk about it because so. now the youths the youths there now wants to make a whole lot of money before they get into something and the, the youth the perception of a youth a young youth like a woman a lady is something else yeah. and the mind of a young youth a male is something else yeah. so i think we'll do, so, we'll do a video so, in which will help even if it's a little um, knowledge from us it will go far because it's very important um, i think experiences uh, what help a lot of people with, yeah. with life yeah. so and then also lastly talk to your own mother and your own dad about relationship about marriage they are the first if not god being the first your mother and your father are the first starting point to get a better idea about what marriage relationship and man and woman all of those facts, they are the best point to start with you know so don't even go to any friend to get any advice from them talk to your father and your mother they are the first and the yeah. best and god is so that is all and god is but you know some african parents don't do that yeah but you have to try you try guys so me me my mom would advise about sex she told you how to do it like as me, you get my mom, really, my, mom, my, mom, my, my mom never really uh, discussed that with me but it's something that i have learned mm, that there are some things that if i need anything to know about woman right now I'll go to my mom. Yeah. Charlie, I'll go to my mom and all my pastor's my wife. Mom, my, my mom. Even my pastor's wife, and I'll go to my mom. Because my, they are like the two yeah. they are the two best people right now in my life that yeah. I, I can talk to any anyhow, any way about woman and marriage and anything. Yeah, because um, my mom was my mom was the one who was like, um, when you going to marriage, do this so many way. even even before like we be in a relationship and all, anytime she's talking, she tells me, a man has to do this for you. He, she's not saying like give me money or something no she's saying a man when a man really likes you he would go in for this for you mm. he would do this for in for you he would want your mind change like blah blah he would want you not to do some things he would help you with all of that so i think with all of that it helped but african parents don't really do that so mm. it's a whole issue unless maybe you, you are going into a book or you've had experiences where mm. your mind is telling you this experience that i've had I'm making the next step where I won't do this anymore, yeah. and I'll but move from there. But there are some experiences that are <laughs> that are breeding wrong information, wrong education. So you have to watch out for that. Yeah, well. because me, any experience I have in which I think about this, I'm like, okay, I didn't do this well. Even though it was from that guy or that person, I didn't do this well too. If I should have done this, this would have happened. Yeah. So I would rather 
move from my mistake, correct my mistake from Every the past. Mistake is a lesson. Yes, correct my mistake from the past and then my present, I move on with it. Yeah. The next mistake I do, I'll correct it. I won't blame someone no, for all. my mistakes. Not so yeah, so. Anyway, um, we hope this helped you. Yeah. If this answered your question and it helped you, and not only you, the one who has sent us a question, but at large, anyone who is watching, right? if this helped you, please let us know in a comment. And then um, if you have any other more questions or something that you want us to talk yeah. about for you or share, uh, thoughts and ideas on for you please do well to send it to us i'll put an email in the description so that you can send your your stories and questions and thoughts to us we yeah. truly appreciate you for supporting us and watching like it will say if you watch it share sure, with your friends <laughs> all right yeah, thank you so thank much you god so bless much. you but it's lights this... out so i'm i'm on fire <laughs> so i have this Don't impression that we should pray for for her briefly and then pray for everybody anybody who is in that same situation mm, yeah sure. so let us pray mm. father in the name of jesus we mm -hmm. pray for this young lady who has sent us his challenges and problems mm. we pray that father you help her by granting her wisdom mm -hmm. by granting her understanding mm. by granting her revelational information and knowledge that would help her be able to navigate her life well in the purpose and plan that you have designed for her. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you help her be able to make right decisions the first time. Amen. And we pray that you help her get stable in her mind, get stable Amen. financially, get stable on her job. And I pray by the sheer power of the Holy Ghost and miracle, she be retained in her job in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we pray that she be healed of any wound, of any confusion, of any depression, of any loneliness, of any pain, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, we pray that the power of sound mind wake up in her, Amen. in the name of Jesus. And for anybody who is watching us right now, who also needs healing, we pray that Father grant them this healing, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God Amen. bless you so God much. God bless you so much. We love hey, you. Have peace in your heart. Have peace in your yeah, heart. When you have peace, I think everything will follow. Yeah, and follow your heart. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Don't be stubborn. No, I want. I want let, sorry, let <laughs> me say the last one. Women are stubborn. Even if we see the mistake, we are still going for it, hoping said things will change. But when you are seeing things that is going wrong, we should just accept the wrong side and move on from there. We shouldn't kill ourselves for things that wouldn't better our future in some years to come. Mm. 